Hello everyone and welcome on De Papier et de Rêves channel. I'm Ursula and today I will be talking a little bit more about a color in particular, Viridian. This uh, color uh, Viridian is a color I'm using uh, quite a lot uh, nowadays. Um, I have a lot of uh, blues and yellow in my palette but I have only one green and it's this one, Viridian. In French, this color can have another name, uh, it's Vert de Guignet. Uh, depending on the brand, it will be called uh, Vert de Guignet or Vert Emeraude. But you can always recognize it because of uh, the name of the pigment, which is PG18. So today I want to explain a little bit more why I do like this color and how to use it, uh, how to mix it in order to uh, have beautiful color with it. I've started my first wash with of course Viridian but also with uh, Cobalt Blue and uh, the mix of both of uh, this color uh, make a beautiful turquoise and I love to mix them together. I'm also adding some uh, permanent alizarin crimson, which is a complementary color to uh, Viridian. It's a very cool red, uh, almost pink, and it makes uh, beautiful grays and uh, quite uh, neutral colors uh, mixed together. Viridian is a granulating color, which means that uh, it will uh, settle in the relief of the paper and uh, you will see uh, some part of the pigments like a powder on the paper. So it creates a beautiful texture. And this texture can be enhanced uh, by using the complementary color. So here, uh, permanent alizarin crimson. Because those two colors doesn't mix uh, totally. Uh, that means that from far away, you can see just one color. But when you look closer, you can see that the two pigments are present on the paper, but not mixed. Uh, you can see uh, the viridian next to the permanent alizarin crimson. And this effect of uh, separating color doesn't uh, happen with the blue and yellows uh, mixed with viridian, but it's very strong with the complementary color. But uh, let's go back to my painting. I've added a little bit of uh, Queen Acridon Gold because I thought that uh, this painting was uh, paint with very cold color and I wanted uh, something to warm it up. Um, but uh, you can uh, also try uh, this mix, uh, Viridian with uh, Queen Acridon Gold and you will get uh, some beautiful uh, and vibrant uh, greens. This uh, first layer is uh, very messy and it's uh, totally intentional. Uh, I want uh, to have uh, something to look at. I want to have a lot of uh, stain and texture and splashes of color. Uh, so for that I'm using uh, my paper uh, in, uh, at an angle uh, so that uh, my pigment and water can flow uh, and mix together. And I'm also using a spray bottle uh, to help the color to mix together. My last uh, step for this uh, first layer is adding some salt. Uh, the salt is very interesting with uh, Viridian because Viridian is a staining color and uh, the salt will not have the same effect on other color. Uh, you can't have uh, the white of the paper back uh, with salt and viridian. You will always see a little bit of viridian and also the granulation of viridian with the salt is also very interesting and it will be enhanced uh, with uh, the, this effect with salt. And uh, while I was talking, my uh, paper has dry and I can uh, start uh, the second layer. My goal for the second layer is to uh, enhance uh, what I see in my first layer. Uh, of course, uh, I will add uh, some details and uh, branches and uh, herbs uh, and things like uh, that. Uh, I did not have any inspiration before I started this picture. Uh, it just came to me uh, while I was painting. I'm using quite a dark color, but I'm not using black uh, directly. 
I prefer mixing uh, permanent alizarin crimson with the viridian color so that I can get uh, a darker and quite neutral color. And also I can uh, tweak it a little bit if I want it to be a little bit more red or uh, a little bit more green. And to add a little bit more darkness, sometimes I'm also using neutral tint to make it a little bit darker. But it's quite easy to get uh, a darker tint uh, with uh, permanent design crimson and viridian because uh, they are quite transparent. And when you mix two colors uh, together, which are transparent, you can get quite a, a nice uh, dark if you put enough pigments, of course. Like my first layer, I'm painting this layer uh, also a little bit messy uh, because I want it to be uh, spontaneous and uh, having a lot of energy in it. And now let's talk about supplies. For the brushes, I've been using an Escoda Aquario number 18 and a Raphael Petit Gris 803 number 2. And the silver brush black velvet quarter inch uh, in a dagger shape. For the color, I've used cobalt blue, viridian, quinacridone gold, permanent alizarin crimson, and neutral tint. And my paper is from Canson Heritage in Rough. So why do I love uh, so much this Viridian color? The first thing to know is that uh, I wouldn't have this in my palette if it wasn't for Alvaro Castanier, which uh, recommended uh, it uh, in his, uh, uh, let's say, uh, perfect palette for him. So this uh, viridian color is very unnatural and uh, it doesn't have a, a green color that you can see uh, in nature. But uh, when you mix it with other color, it makes beautiful colors. I think the best way to, to learn how to use this color is to mix it with other color. It's not a color that you can use by itself. When you mix a viridian with uh, yellows, uh, like uh, Queen Aquedon Gold or uh, Lemon Yellow, you can get uh, very brilliant colors and very bright greens uh, that can be very interesting for, for a landscape, for example. And uh, when mixed uh, with uh, reds, uh, viridian can become uh, gray and uh, a little bit dirty and it's quite interesting in, in some uh, places. And uh, when you mix Viridian with uh, burnt sienna, uh, you can get a nice brown and uh, with this uh, granulation property, you can imitate moss in a trunk uh, very easily. And uh, to complete this uh, wheel, uh, when you mix uh, blues with uh, Viridian, you can get very nice turquoise like uh, you can see in this picture, but also you can get um, uh, green, which are a bit uh, like um, dark green, like a uh, pine tree, for example, or like uh, un undersea uh, water. And my most preferred mix with Viridian is uh, with Ultramarine Blue and uh, Queen Aquino Gold. You can get uh, a large variety of greens, which are very natural. And if you tweak it a little bit with a little bit more yellow or a little bit more blue, uh, you can get really a large variety of greens. And now my painting is almost uh, finished. I'm just adding details with uh, this uh, dagger brush, very fine. And I like it because uh, I can get very spontaneous marks uh, with it and uh, I can avoid to be uh, too much precise uh, with it. So this painting was uh, really about uh, the Viridian color and uh, the mixes uh, you can do with it. And I didn't uh, overthink uh, the composition or the way I will do it. 
I just took a, a sheet of paper and my colors and starting to throw colors uh, on it without uh, overseeking uh, it too much. And at the end, it was very re relaxing for me because uh, I just didn't have to think about uh, details or composition or anything. So it's a bit different uh, from uh, the, what I'm used to do on this uh, channel. But uh, if you want to see more uh, uh, reviews of colors like that, uh, I can do it. And just uh, tell me in the comment. And if you have any color you want me to review like that, uh, please tell me. And also, um, please have a look on the blog post. I will add some... Uh, uh, pictures and details of this painting and maybe some more information about uh, the colors and also other pictures where I use a lot of uh, Viridian. This video is now ending. Thanks for watching. I hope you like it. And please tell me what you think about uh, this painting in the comment down below. See you soon.